Hi, I'd like to show you how to find your x and y intercepts <laughs> when given an equation written in this format. A quick little review for those of you uh, that need to go and see what your x and y intercepts actually are in a graphical way. If you notice, when you have a graph written up here, where, where a graph intersects, your y-intercept, we call it your y-intercept. At your y-intercept, you have an x value of 0. And where my line crosses my x-axis, we call the x-intercept. Because it's intercepting the x-axis, we have a y-value of 0. So on my problem, if I'm not given a graph, I'm only given an equation, and it says find the x and y-intercepts, the only thing that I know without graphing my problem, the only thing I know is that at the y-intercept, I have an x value of 0. So what I'm going to do is, if I want to find the x-intercept, so let's first find the x-intercept. If I want to find the x-intercept, I know that my y-value is equal to 0. I don't know, I don't know, I don't have to know what this graph looks like. All I have to know is, I know that my y-value is equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a 0 in for y. So I have 3x minus 4 times 0 minus 6 equals 15. Now it's just a simple matter of, of matter of fact, just solving for my x to get my value for x. So 3x minus 4 times 0 obviously is 0. Minus 6 equals 15 plus 6 on both sides. Therefore, I get 3x equals 21. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x is going to equal 7. However, as you notice, the x-intercept is actually a point. It has an x value and a y value. So I write this as 7, 0. That would be my x-intercept. Now, when I go ahead and find the y-intercept, Again, looking back at this graph, I know my x value is worth 0, right? So what I need to do now is plug in a 0 in for x and solve for y. So I have 3 that obviously becomes 0, so therefore I have negative 4y minus 6 equals 15. I add 6 on both sides. I get a negative 4y is equal to 21. Divide by negative 4. Y. Y is going to obtain, uh, 4 goes into 21, maybe 5 times. 5 times with the remainder of 1. So it's going to be a negative 5 and 1 fourth. Now, that is obviously not what this graph is, but I use this graph to show you that when you have an x and y intercept, your y intercept has an x value of 0, and your y intercept has a um, x value. I'm sorry, your x intercept has a y value of 0, and your y intercept has an x value of 0. Um, but roughly, this graph, um, graphing on here, would be would look like this, because my negative 5 and 1 fourth would be my y intercept, which would be. 0, comma, negative 5 and 1 fourth. And then my comma 7 would be 6, 7. So therefore, if I wanted to go ahead and learn how to graph this, you, theoretically, a way to graph is just to find your x and y intercept and then go off and graph it. So that is how you can um, find your x and y intercepts given an equation.